You know, they say that laughter is good for the heart and it's good for the soul. And tonight we're going to be talking with America, two of America's most funniest ladies. We're talking about Kim Whitley and we're talking about Kim Cole right here at the Comedy Union is where it all takes place, where it all goes down. That's what's coming up next on Chief Rocket TV where music, fashion and politics collide in association with Trail Vision. I'm your host, Q Nice. And I just can't stop laughing because <laughs> watch. just elated right now this is like a dream come true two of america's most funniest ladies right here with me right now i have kim whitley on this side right here kim coles on this side right over here i love you ladies how are you doing blast blast wow this is fantastic to to really be here with you guys and thank you so much for taking the time out and being with us you guys are so funny on stage your chemistry is incredible and i want to talk a little bit more about that but first kim coles Tell me how this whole thing, how did it all start? Um, it started because I decided I wanted to start doing stand-up again. Okay. And I uh, hadn't done it in a long time, and, and I hadn't really done it in L.A. Start, started coming down here and playing, and the owner of the club said, why don't we make it a night? Why don't you and Kim do something together? That's my understanding of the story. I don't know if that's your version of the story. Like, the two of you together are more powerful than one of you alone. So, mm. you know, that way, when either of you is working, the other one can be there, and together, the two of you will be magical. And she and I had never actually worked together on stage before. I had no idea it would be this much fun. It would be this good. I knew it would be good, but I didn't know it was going to be great. No offense. I mean, it's it's no, no, it's great. Okay. I mean, it's, it's it's incredible. I mean, yeah. your take on it, Kim. No, no, no. Al, Al, she hit that right on the money. You know, you go in, you you seen somebody on TV, and we know each other. We've been cordial for years, but we got on that stage. That first night was magic. Remember that very first night, and then every night, you know. And then she's working, I'm working. We're tired, but we get on the stage. You know, we forget all of our troubles, and we just play. <laughs> That's we do, right. we do. We're in the back together and it's like, girl, my so-and-so is dot, 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 and my dot, dot, dot is such and such. And we tell each other stuff and we put on our little <laughs> lip gloss and we go and do the show because the show must go on. Right, right, and the right. audience fuels us and we fuel them and every show is completely different, right. but the two of us remain the same. You know, with every show being different, that's that's where the magic comes in because you guys are just so amazing together. And me and the producer were talking earlier. We really think that you guys should think about like taking this on a road a tour, all female cast. I mean, your thoughts on that? You know, we've heard that. Uh, we've been asked on Facebook and Twitter and all kind of ways. When are you gonna bring it here? When are you gonna bring it here? So it's something that we will consider. But we're very busy actresses. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. That's Ince. That's the owner of the club. Ince, come over and say hi. Because we were just telling them how we got started. This is the man, Kim. Ince, how you doing? I'm good, man. How you? Good, good. Actually, Thanks for having us out. Put it all together and said, why don't you do a show together? That together you're stronger than you are apart. You said that, didn't you? Yeah, he did say that, didn't he? What did that mean? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Evil genius. Ends right there. He's really something else. Really something. You know, this is a black-owned comedy club. That's yes. a big deal. There's not yes. a lot of them in the country, and 
there's only two of them here in LA as I know mm -hmm. and so the, to be able to come down here and support him and he supports us and we're supporting comedy it's just a good thing it's what do you think thing. that means for the community uh, having all black you know establishment right here and then with the two of you all hosting well, I think, you know, the club has been standing here for 10 years, um, and I think just getting the community out is the big thing, to let them know that this is here, and it's right here in the community, in the hood. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I just think it's good to have, because we can we have plenty of comedy clubs up in Hollywood, right. uh, but, you know, for us, by us. FUBU. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me really quickly, what has been, like, the most funniest thing that has happened to the two of you since you've been here? I can't mention the funniest, but I will say when we do our improv, each time there's That's something crazy. magical. And there's a moment where she looks in my eyes and I look at her, and, the, and there's a moment that we're saying to each other, it is well with our soul. Like, it's just, there's some sort of genius every night that's like, oh my God, that was so good. I hope, I hope people love it. Uh, we usually do an improv hour, yes. but it's for five minutes. <laughs> so, I didn't know how, what else to name it. <laughs> the improv minute, what do you So I was running. Me, me, Costa. I was running and I, I saw a tiger, and, I, and a tiger was trying to speak. And and, and, the, and the tiger had uh, acid reflux. <laughs> want to see happen with the, the the show that you have on on Tuesday nights right now um, Kim. I would say I would just like to see it grow and continue uh, the real basis of this is for us to grow as comics this is a place where we practice and that's why we're free we we're on stage writing jokes Kim just basically wrote a joke on stage this is where we can create and so at home we don't have to spend countless hours of trying to write and figure it out um, so I think it was just that me and Kim grow as comics and uh, the show grows and maybe we could take it out on the road you know maybe not maybe it'll fizzle fizzle but it, I think it keeps us strong as actors um, and, and performers to stay with the uh, live audience really quickly uh, for your fans who like to follow your movements Facebook Twitter website at Kim Coles on Twitter real Kim Coles on Facebook and I have my own website Kim Coles TV <laughs> and Kim, and then she'll go in the back and go to sleep. All this energy in front of the camera, she'll be in the back later. Like oh, girl, <laughs> I am at Kim Whitley. That's K Y M W H I T L E Y. And on Facebook, I'm Kim Whitley. But there's a bunch of different pages. But you know, at Kim Whitley or Kim Whitley, and I got and hair in black. And then we have oh, we have our own Facebook. Yes, we have our own Facebook, don't we? What's it called? Ladies Night Live, our very own Facebook, Ladies Night Live, and our very, uh, like, like that, like that, son, uh, Ladies Night Live, and we also have our own hashtag, Ladies Night Live, Ladies Night Live. What a fantastic night. Um, thanks so much to Kim Coles and also to Kim Whitley for being with us as our special guest right here for a night of funny, a night of comedy on a Tuesday night right here at the Comedy Union. And of course, every Tuesday night, it's called Ladies Night Live live on Tuesday right here at Comedy Union. So please make sure that you check it out. Shouts out to the staff and everybody. We thank you so much. And, you know, this is what we do. We bring you the live and exclusives only right here where you can get it. This is Chief Rocket TV where music, fashion, and politics collide in association with Trailvision. I am your host, Q Nice. And as always, I'll see you around the world. And the